Hey guys, welcome to Earth It. Hope all of you are safe and healthy. So today, let's prepare this welcome board using cardboard. We can also use MDF or wood or glass as an alternative option. So in order to prepare this, we are using cardboard as a base. Two pieces of cardboard will be sticking each other with the help of fevicol and we'll be sticking the periphery using a masking tape. So this way once the edges is completed, we'll have a very neat and clean surface. Now in order to strengthen the cardboard, we'll be using DIY primer. Please do check out my earlier video on how to do a DIY texture paste and primer. If it's going to be an MDF or a wood, we can also use gesso as an alternative option. These options are basically to cover out a real undulated surface and to help the colors pop out really well. This is more on the concept of a beach, so we'll be preparing the sand part using the texture paste. So this way we'll get a neat and nice texture. At the same time, it's going to be nice and filled. At the same time, it's going to give a little embossed effect on our wall decor. So in order to achieve the color, we can use two different combinations. It can either be a combination of brown, yellow ochre and blue. Or we can also use brown, orange and pale violet. We can use either of these options to achieve the sand color. The second option is more like a skin tone. The first option is more like a sand. So please do choose the color options wisely. So once we are done mixing, this is how our texture paste is going to look. Check down the consistency. This is how thick it has to be. It shouldn't be diluted because we are going to put or place it right on top of the cardboard. Remember, even if we have a coat of primer, cardboards are supposed to absorb a lot of water. So make sure your texture paste is in the right consistency. We'll be using different types of palette knives just to spread out the texture paste and we'll be tapping the palette knife to create a texture like that of a sand. We can also use different types of stencils in this option. We'll be using a brush to give a very rough coat right on the end. So this is just to enhance the texture for the bubbles. Next, in order to achieve the color for the ocean or water, we'll be using turquoise blue as the base color or the darker shade. We'll be using pale emerald as the lighter shade and we'll be using white for the bubbles. First, we'll take a normal brush through and give a coat for white which is going to be our bubbles and this way our outline is defined. Next, we'll be placing different layers of colors and start defining a pattern of face using fan brush. And then we'll be using our white acrylic color as the topmost layer and our waves or the definition of the waves is going to be done. As in acrylic colors, the lightest color will be the topmost layer. We should never forget to conceal the edges or sides of a cardboard or the surface that we are going to work with. That way it's going to be complete. We can also do this on a canvas because again canvas is going to be a really good option as well. Next, we'll be using uh, seashells as an embellishment for this type of artwork. We'll be using white glues to stick it. In order to stick it completely faster, we can also use glue gun. But sometimes if you're in a hurry, glue guns will leave glue strings and glue drops, which is not going to be so neat if you're like in a hurry. You need to be extremely patient while using glue gun. So in order to play safe, I am using white glue. It will take a little time for it to fix, but yes, it works really well. Next, in order to give a little gloss, we'll be using pouring medium. Pouring medium from Bristol is actually really good. I have tried it multiple times in different paintings and it really spreads well and it works well. Next one is for the text. We'll be using acrylic color since it's texture paste. No other medium is going to work really well other than acrylic color itself. So you can also trace out the pattern, but, but I have just written it over. It was a freehand uh, acrylic paint texting. 
Next we'll be using a cardboard that's wider than the first cardboard and we'll be using cotton twines to connect out the top and the bottom cardboards. At the same time we'll be using that to connect our feathers and embellishments. We'll be using glue gun to fix the cotton twine with the cardboard. Silicon glue is a really good medium that works really well for these two surfaces. And once it's done, we'll be sticking up another layer of cardboard right on top of it to give a very neat and a strong feel. So we are using ferricol and we are spreading it really well over here. And once we are done with it, we'll be placing a cardboard and we'll place a weight on top of it, which is again going to be covering almost most of the length and it has to be even so do not place different types of weights on top of the cardboard make sure it is even and neat and again following the same concept we have concealed the edges using masking tape and once that is done we'll be giving this cardboard a coat of texture paste or primer again depending on your choice so if you have wooden pieces make sure to give it a coat of gesso so this way the colors will pop out really well Once it's dried, we'll be using again seashells as an embellishment but this one is more like a bead. It has a hole on top and it has a hole and provision at the bottom. So this works more like a bead rather than just sticking. You can also try to stick different types of embellishments on your strings. Now for the final point, we'll be using feathers. Since it's more on a boho concept, we'll be using feathers and we'll stick them using glue gun. You can trace out the lettering or you can also draw it in freehand using acrylic colors and size 0 brush just like how I have done. So once the lettering is done, let me show how we can fix these to the top part. In order to fix it to the cardboard, we'll just use glue gun and start fixing it to the string and we'll be concealing this part again with texture paste. Once this part is done, we'll be loading it with another coat of glue gun since it's light and weight, it's definitely not going to pull down. And once it's dried, we'll be concealing the whole back part with the texture paste. So hope this video was useful. Meet you guys in the next video. Until then, Namaste.